F-35 Lightning II, firmly on track for modernization. The fifth generation fighter is a very explosive machine. For example, the American F-35 Lightning II cost about $100 million. More than 750 of these F-35 aircraft are now in service from 30 bases and ships around the world. More than 1,580 pilots and 11,545 technicians have been trained. In 2021, two new countries, Switzerland and Finland, have chosen the F-35 to equip their air forces. In addition, Denmark received its first F-35 and the Royal Dutch Air Force became the ninth country to announce the initial combat readiness of its F-35 fleet. So it's safe to say that at least for another 20 years, no one will be changing these planes. But for this long period, the aircraft will have to be upgraded to perform its tasks, the complexity of which will only grow. In today's video, we'll talk about the plans to modernize the most mass-produced fifth-generation aircraft, the F-35 Lightning II. Spoiler! If everything succeeds as intended, we'll see practically a new plane. The whole history of the F-35 has been characterized by inflated expectations, prospects, and a lack of efficiency at all stages of development. How many times have we heard about hundreds of critical failures of this machine? Its cannon didn't fire, or there were problems with oxygen supply to the pilot, or software errors. The astronomical cost of one flight hour of this machine, $33,000, made it hard to compare it with the cost of a Tesla or some other expensive object. And now Lockheed Martin was awarded a contract worth more than $1.8 billion to continue the design, refinement, and development capabilities of the F-35 fighter jet as part of the Block 4 version. At the end of this program, the company promises that both the cost of the aircraft and the cost of its flight hours will decrease significantly, while on the contrary, its combat properties will increase. To be more precise, there will be a 50% increase in hidden firepower. It's fantastic. It can't happen like this, won't you say? And yet, let's take a closer look at this fiction. The most important thing that the designers are going to change in the aircraft is a dramatic increase in computing power. The new flight computers will perform 25 times more operations than those currently used in the F-35. This key change will enable several other important innovations. The first is that the fighter's data link will be significantly expanded and will be compatible with Link 16 communications links used by the F-16, F-18, and a host of other U.S. and Allied aircraft. There will be satellite communications and the ability to broadcast video to the ground using rover and G systems. As a result, the aircraft will be able to receive data from other friendly air, land, and sea sources to give the pilot a more informative view of what's going on. Secondly, the F-35's electronic warfare capabilities will increase significantly, allowing it to quickly block enemy radar and radio signals. After all, the ability for so-called cognitive electronic warfare is becoming critical as adversaries move to software-defined radios and radar systems with frequency hopping. The F-35 will carry the new ASQ-239 All-Around Threat Detection REB system from the British company BAE. The dramatic increase in computing power will equip the APG-81 radar with a broadband synthetic aperture mode to scan large swaths of terrain and track even small objects such as moving vehicles, then produce a high-definition image and direct it to ground centers for reconnaissance, navigation, and weapons targeting. The innovation stems from the evolution of the F-35's role from standard strike and counterterrorism missions. The military wants to use F-35 hardware data to shoot down enemy missiles. The Air Force's decentralized command and control system will use the F-35's computing power, sensor, and communications data to mount large-scale attacks across the board. Also, powerful computers will make it possible to install artificial intelligence on the aircraft, which will help the pilot in control. In particular, it's planned to develop guided drones that would fly alongside the F-35, providing support from increasing firepower thanks to the presence of missiles on board to taking the blow of enemy air-to-air -air missiles. The F-35 will also change its fuel tanks. Their new design on the wing should increase the F-35's combat range by 25% to 737 miles. We all remember that the short range of this plane caused great reproaches from the military and ridicule from the Russians. 
However, even after the modernization, the F-35 is inferior to the Russian Su-57 in this parameter. It has a combat radius of 1,242 miles. The new Sidekick missile launch system is another planned upgrade of the fighter. The F-35 can carry only four medium-range AIM-120D air-to-air missiles while maintaining stealth. The fighter can carry more bombs and missiles on wing pylons, but this increases the EPR on enemy radar, so the F-35 Block IV will carry six missiles in its internal bays instead of the current four. That's a 50% increase, as we said above. At the same time, the AIM-120Ds with a range of 100 miles will be replaced by AIM-260s with a range of 125 miles. However, anyway, according to this parameter, the American missiles are behind the Russian air-to-air -air missiles R-37M with a range of 247 miles. They're used on the Russian Su-57, a fifth-generation fighter. The range of weapons which can be used by F-35 fighters will also increase. Thus, guided aerial bombs, SBD-2, and JSOW-C, short-range air-to-air missiles up to 20-kilometer AIM-9X Block II will appear in the arsenal. And most importantly, the new weapons include the B-61 nuclear bomb, so the F-35 becomes a strategic weapon. A total of 66 hardware and software upgrades are planned by Lockheed Martin. The modernization of the aircraft is to be completed by August 2026. At the same time, it's planned to carry out its work in stages, thus new capabilities will be introduced into the global F-35 fleet faster without waiting for the full development of the entire configuration of updates. How realistic is this scenario? After all, it should be taken into account that the Pentagon intends to modernize the second fifth-generation fighter, the F-22, in parallel to the modernization of the F-35, and it'll be done by the same Lockheed Martin. The American military plans to spend $10.9 billion on this project, that's six times more than for the F-35. In essence, the total of $12.7 billion, and even stretched for several years, is an affordable amount for the Pentagon. Besides, for such money, the military will get a qualitative improvement of their main strike fighters. And taking into account how fast tensions are rising in the world, which even resulted in a large-scale armed conflict in Europe, all modernization plans will surely be fulfilled. At least the funds for them certainly will not be cut so the U.S. will remain the master of the sky until the middle of this century. What do you think about the plans to modernize the U.S. Lightning? Write in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like so more people can see it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There will be more interesting videos about modern weapons.